Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I want to talk about animation nodes, and I will be using the latest version of animation nodes, which is still um, currently under development, which is version 2.1.2. So I'm using uh, Blender 2.79, but I'm using uh, the version with the Python 3.7, if I'm not wrong. Oh, 3.6, okay. And my animation nodes should be the latest one, 2.1.2. So that's uh, that's cool, and that's should be working. You can see the animation nodes icon there. Create a new, and let's do something just like uh, do an improvisation. Animation nodes actually uh, has grown, and uh, there's a lot of new nodes, and then some nodes are changing. I want to maybe use the distribute matrices. So even distribute matrices now has this uh, spiral option. I think this is new. Usually you just have circle, grid, linear. There's also mesh. You can plug in mesh and you, you can create duplication that way. So let's just uh, actually just use a cube and I will generate UV and let's save it as AN matrices play so I'm gonna play with matrices um, mesh I will do mesh later but uh, I'll use spiral for now and let's use uh, instancer and our instance objects will be this guy right here maybe the box can be something a little bit more interesting so I will SX and scale it in X so that's a little bit better um, at some point I will be using like a like a card or something um, so matrices and we want to distribute it uh, so we're gonna use matrix output so object matrix okay this is gonna be the matrices data and by default spiral will generate 100 objects so 100 plug into the instancer we get this get length automatically and the output of the instance will go in there so we get spiral and spiral of course very cool okay this is the master object we're gonna keep it and yeah we get a spiral and the spiral of course default to 100 points you can change that and it's making this quite nice uh, design <laughs> and you can change the end and start radius play around with it and the start the start and end size okay that's also really really useful that's really nice and start and end angle there is no options to make it like uh, going in vertical you know to make like a tornado or something so for that we probably need math matrix math and then mul multiply this with uh, something else uh, you can use line but I'll use another distribute matrices and for this maybe I'll use linear and maybe plug in this, this guy like that and the amount is 100 okay maybe I have to use um, grid but make sure that the, it grows up in Z and there should be like 100 points alright so because it's complaining before it says different lengths you need to have the same number of transform matrices data okay so so that's what we do so now we have something that's a little bit nicer like a spiral stair or something so yeah that's cool and then the what else can we do here uh, so start and end so we can play around with that that's fine start size okay end size angle maybe we can animate angle because I want to rotate it like that so for that you see uh, what what is the start value so 182 oops yeah I think that doesn't matter we just give it a number first float float input plug this in there and this end angle of course need to be offset it use a float math of course and not multiply but offset so 
that should be pretty good and now we can animate this and frame oops okay we don't have options to do that okay I will use frame then alright so we have this it's uh, moving a little bit fast of course always math float math maybe multiply this by 0 0.1 all right we get that this is nice and what else can we do there is option like noise see noise fall off vector noise maybe maybe this is something that we can use somehow because with the matrix we have matrix offset offset matrices and this can be handy as as well i think i don't know how we can use this but let's say we get like some translations maybe we randomize the translation and randomize the, the rotations but you can see the noise now have effects on it sometimes uh, this um, offset and fall off sounds really alien okay offset is pretty simple it's just simply offsetting objects from its current position that's we easily to understand fall off fall off is slightly slightly uh, slightly confusing but uh you can give it a try anyway try try this all this wiggle etc but currently like you, you see we are using this noise fall off there's a lot of option here which is really really cool i like the simple one simplex amplitude i haven't tried all of this but uh like now you can see it's giving this a uh, nice animations and this is of course something that uh, I always want to make this kind of animations this kind of procedural animations and turn it into AR it's very easy to do now with animation nodes spare chop and all this oh, um, so and with iOS 12 um, if you are on Apple you can easily turn this into uh, AR let's let's actually do that export Alembic selected object only um yeah it doesn't matter it's, it's just it's, it's procedural so let's just call it spiral export the alembic and let's go file import the alembic to test it out we're gonna import the spiral back okay we get it cool get rid of the master so we have this alembic doing its thing what will be nice of course this kind of procedural animation should be looping I have to look into that, but uh, should be pretty good. So file, export again, alembic, and I'm gonna call it Spiral X because we clean it up, and this is a new alembic. I'll show you why this is gonna be really cool. It's gonna be so easy to do um, because if we go to desktop now, we have Spiral ABC. Okay, it's doing a funky thing at, at the at the beginning, but uh, it's doing animation really really slowly. So there is a there's a gotcha there when you're exporting from Blender. The, the alembic actually have this uh, weird time thing that needs to be fixed. But anyhow, let's convert this into a uh, USDC convert uh, spiral X. ABC to spiral X USDZ but with extra furballs and then ASCII and then we want to create USDA in between that so let's wait a few seconds it's now it's working on 100 objects now let's jump into sublime text we have this USDA look at it this is I'm gonna fix the timing here 5976 Divided by 24, 249, 249. This one's 24, and then file save as spiral x USDA. In the future, this kind of conversion will be automatic. Anyhow, for now, it's a it's manual. Okay, so yeah, cool. That seems to be working. Now we let's do another 
XCRAN USDZ converter spiral XUSDA to spiral XUSDZ. Save. Okay, spiral X does not exist because we are we are in the different terminal. Okay, cool. Save. Where's the other one? This guy. Oh, have to use a different color. Okay. Now it's converting it to spiral x usdz. Hopefully everything works properly. We didn't add material or whatever, but uh, there you go. This is usdz, and then now I will try to add drop it into my iPhone. I will create a reflector. I'm gonna prove it that this is actually working. Um, this. Let's turn on ref screen mirroring into my MacBook Pro. Okay, so that's my iPhone. It's a bit smoother now. And file airdrop. I'm currently running iOS 12 beta 8. Jump into iPhone. Airdrop these 3D objects. Put it into files. iCloud. USDZ. So that's the whole process. Now it's just this is a 3D running on my iPhone and you can simply turn it into AR. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, all right, that's pretty amazing, I think. Uh, I can, of course, turn it into landscape mode, but uh, yeah, oops, that's too crazy. Let's keep it like this. Let's get back to where we came from. Blender. This is animation nodes, procedural animations, now running on my iPhone. Well, it's not it's not like real time yet, but uh, one day it's gonna be real time. Today, it's gonna be like this. We bake it out, turn it into alembic, and then we can now just control it using our finger, control the placement. I think it's still pretty cool, right? Let's go back to the original. AN matrix display. You can still make changes, do another baking, and then um, USDZ will take care of the conversion, and then you're done. All right. Okay. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, tutorial. Let me know what you think. If you have any question, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.